today I will help you to turn the red annoying traffic light green and in this video I will show you how well hello and welcome to my video today I have a big question for you have you ever get stuck with your scooter at the red traffic light that happened to me all the time and it's slightly annoying now let's understand that the traffic light has a little switch that is on the floor it is a magnetic loop, induction loop, that is on the floor. Now, when you get in there to a traffic light with your scooter, unfortunately, our mass and our body of the scooter is kind of small. So, what's the problem? That the traffic light or the induction loop doesn't really realize that you're there, unless there is a car next to you or there is another car behind you. At that point, there is more mass or metal mass in the loop. At that point, the light will change. But if it's just us with the scooter just you only unfortunately the light will never change so we need to play a trick uh, and we need to put some magnets uh, underneath uh, your scooter they are kind of low those magnets they will attract the magnetic loop that is around the traffic light uh, and they will make that light change to green for you so from red to green and i will show you how to put those magnets right now Okay, the first thing you should do is to place your scooter kind of on a sideway because you really need to work underneath the scooter. Now, if you have another person with you, it's a lot better. If not, you need to find a way to place your scooter slightly sideways so you can work underneath. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to put some new demon magnet. Those ones are really small magnet, but they have a lot of power. They're very powerful magnet that you can put underneath your scooter. You need this magnet. You need a driller, you need a screwdriver, there is a Phillips screwdriver right here, and you also need some uh, crazy glue or some really good glue that is going to make sure that these magnet uh, screws, they are not going to vibrate, they are not going to lose, and uh, they're not going to get loose, and you're not going to lose the magnet somehow, okay? So this one will get the little screw stuck. So they're not going to move. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make few holes underneath right here on the lower part of your scooter and in the part that is going to be lower and be slightly closer to the street. Because you really need to make a slightly a connection with the induction loop that is right there at the traffic light. So the higher you put them, you know, is less conduction to the loop. So you have to do as much as you can the lower part of your scooter. Now right here we're going to make a few holes with the driller and then we're going to place this little magnet right here. Now we're just going to try right here. Try to hold Try to hold the plastic when you make the holes, okay? Don't make the holes on the frame, because you may if you make holes on the frame, you might damage the frame. The, I will not go to the frame, but right here on the plastic, lower side of the plastic of your scooter, you can do these few holes. You can put three to four magnets, you know? If you want to put five, you can put five, but don't put too many, you know? So make sure you hold a little bit of plastic and you make the hole right here now after you make one hole you can get one of these little magnet you just unscrew it just unscrew the top part that is like a look like a little hook you know it look like a little loop so you just unscrew it and you put it right there in the hole but i suggest you to put this lightly little bit of the crazy glue or crazy gel is a lot better crazy gel than crazy glue right here you're going to place a slight little bit of the crazy gel right here some crazy glue gel super glue okay this one will have to, this little screw to don't unscrew with vibration now you can place one of the magnet right here and from the inside you're going to twist the little nuts that you have. 
Now you can use also a screwdriver, this is going to help you too. To place this one and tidy it up. You can use a screwdriver and you can hold the little screw that is inside, the little bolt. Now try to screw as much as you can, try to tidy it as much as you can. Now, right after you place this one, we can go right, if you see, look, there is this one is a really strong magnet, look. This one will switch the red light green for you when you are in the loop induction system that is on the floor every time you stop at the traffic light. Now, right after here, you're going to place one here and other two on the other side. So you can place more or less three to four of this little magnet. You know, it's very easy to do. Try to tie it pretty much so they're not going to fly away. Right here. They don't really have to be in a straight line because sometimes you don't really stop in a straight line to a traffic light. So you can place one here, one here, one here. Now make sure that when you place this magnet behind that there is no battery or there is no wires because if you find the battery or the wires with the driller you could damage the battery or you could damage some wires. So you have to be careful to that. Now the same thing we're going to do with this one. We're just going to unscrew it. We place a little bit of super glue, gel super glue that is perfect. And this one will make this a little, little screw don't move too much, okay? So with the vibration, will this one will not go anywhere. You can also use some thread lock if you want to. But this one is pretty good too. So make sure you tie it pretty good right here. I can tell you a story. One time I used to have a magnet right here close to the um, center stand and what happened one time I lost one of the bolts from the exhaust system and what happened that the magnet catch on to the bolt and I never lost that bolt because that bolt stay connected to the magnet that it was right here at the center stand. Now right after you place two of them you can keep going and put three or four. Now at that point you can make a lot of holes huh? so you can you can place these magnets right here now if you cannot get from this side you have to bend the scooter from the other side okay right here i'm going to put the third one because i think it should be okay to have three but if I need more, I can put one more on the front part of the scooter, closer to the body of the scooter, so closer to the nose of the scooter. So if I place it there, maybe my scooter or the loop of the traffic light, they will realize there is a larger vehicle instead to have a scooter, so it will trigger the traffic light to become green. Now, make sure you place it in a nice way and uh, Make sure that this one will fit the right way. And it's very important that you fit this uh, magnet the right way so they will stay in a better position. Now try to tie these uh, magnets pretty good because you don't want to have any magnet flying around, okay? This one they're going to be really strong, really strong and they will attract the little loop that is at the traffic light and will, they will make your traffic light green. So after you place this tree, you can place one right here, but always be careful with the battery. You can make a little hole, but don't go too deep. If you go too deep, you could damage the battery. After you make the little hole right there, you can place uh, a little magnet right here. You can place a little glue. You can place a little glue right here. This one will help to 
the uh, magnet to stabilize and don't shake too much. Now you have to go inside with your hand and you need to place a bolt underneath or a nut to make sure this is going to stay there. Make sure you tie them pretty good. You don't want to have any magnet flying around, okay? Now, right here, if you see one magnet right here, one magnet, one magnet, and one magnet. This one are four. You can place, you can place one here, one here, one here, one here. You can choose anywhere you want to put them. Make sure you kind of put them wide enough, because uh, uh, the lines of the induction loop, that is uh, the traffic light, usually is on this side, on this side, and sometimes on the center, because you also stop on the center line. You also have to make sure that you stop on the center line of the induction loop so you will make sure you will make contact with the copper of the induction loop that is the traffic light. At that point this magnet will make sure to let the copper and the traffic light know that you are there. Okay, okay we just finished to install new dim magnets on the lower part of your scooter to make sure that the next time you get to a traffic light you're never going to get stuck over there with a red traffic light. At this point I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. Please feel free to visit my YouTube channel anytime. Click the like button, subscribe to my channel and if you like you also can visit my TikTok anytime that you like. Thank you very much and have a great day!